You see that old lady over there? That's Madame Calma. She's very old. She's 101 years older than me, and I'm 13, so that makes her 114 years old. I think she's the oldest woman in the world. She can see only light and hear only in one ear, but her memory is very good. For instance, she still remembers a man she met over a hundred years ago. It was Vincent van Gogh, the famous artist. Her father had a small shop which sold cloth, and Vincent used to come into her dad's shop to buy canvas. She remembers how he used to rub the canvas between his fingers to see if it was good quality. But she says he was rough, rude, and ugly. In fact, she didn't like him at all. Were you really like that, Vincent? Rough and rude? Nah, I don't think so. You. Are you famous or something? Who was that photographer? Oh, Tom Mainfield. Who's he? Oh, he's just a photographer. He does articles on me sometimes. Bye. Vincent and me, on the road together. Did they have trains in your days? Of course they did. You came from Paris by train. Didn't you? But mostly you walked every day with your canvas on your back, with your famous straw hat. You walked and walked, looking for just the right spot to paint. <laughs> the crazy Dutchman in France. Hi. 
How do you like my new awesome glasses? They're great, eh? <sighs> so, this Tom Mainfield guy, how come he's always writing articles on you? Would you stop being so nosy? I just want to read my book, okay? Excuse me, please. Hmm, you're not very friendly, are you? Excuse me! Be careful! Ben, Matthew, come here. I want to talk to you. Boys, come here, please. Boys, please come here. Hey, let's go down and go to the engine. Hey. Come here. Listen to me. You're disturbing everybody. We're almost in Montreal. Ben! Come here! Ben, I'm going to count to three. You better be back here. One. Two. Ben! Hey, 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 hey. Whoa. Slow down. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now stay still, okay? I've got a big surprise for you. This is your lucky day, because I'm going to do your drawing. You first. It'll only cost you $50. But I don't have any money. Let's see. The first one's always free, OK? Thanks. I was about to jump off the train. <laughs> it's OK. I know all about brats. <laughs> Stay still. Are you going to Montreal? Yeah, I'm going to this uh, special summer art school. I won a prize. Almost done. Here, Brett. Wow, this is good. Mom, look. What about you? Do you want one, too? But I don't have any mo money either. <laughs> You're very talented. Oh, I had a good teacher. Here you go. Hey, that's me. I paint, too. You want to see? Uh-huh. OK, I'll show you the uh, pictures I sent to the school. This is the farm we live on, uh, with our two cows, Mabel and Tina. This is our house. Some people say my work is very Van Goghish. Yes, very Van Goghish. It's Van Gogh, not Van Goghder. What? Oh, see. Yeah, he's the guy who cut off his right ear and gave it to his girlfriend. He's crazy. <laughs> he's not crazy. Don't you ever say that. Excuse me. How did you get interested in him? Well, it's an odd story. About a year ago, I was in the hospital, and I was very sick. The doctors thought I was going to die. So I asked everybody to bring in flowers to cheer me up. But my crazy uncle got the story wrong and brought in paintings done by Vincent van Gogh of really beautiful flowers. And when I looked at them, there was like a, a special force in them. I just knew I was going to get better. Yeah, get better and become an artist, too. I knew nothing about art, and I started drawing, you know, just drawing so well. I'd never done it before. And the nurses and the doctors were all really amazed. I mean, I was drawing them, and I got better and better. And, and ever since then, he's been my hero. He had such a hard life. I just wish I could have seen him smile. But that would be hard, since he's been dead for such a long time. How long are you going to wait here? Till she comes. People meet people upstairs in the station. This is the station. This is the platform. There are no people here, so the station must be upstairs. Jaw! <laughs> <laughs> they told me that they couldn't come here, but you know your grand. Who is this? I'm Felix. Okay, Felix, grab this and let's go. Come on, Poopa. <laughs>
Oh, Bert is getting worse and worse. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. <laughs> he makes me crazy. <laughs> hey, boy, come on. Where'd you meet him? On the train. But I didn't meet him. He met me. Oh. You know, I wish you wouldn't have asked him to carry my case. Hey, taxi, taxi! I was telling you, Pupa, you shouldn't talk to the stranger. Especially strange boys. Thank you, boy. Felix. Hey, Felix, thank you. You want a lift? No, thank no? you. No? Ah, ciao. Goodbye. Hey, driver, 4371 Esplanade. And go the short way this time. My beautiful love. That's all right. I can get those. Oh, thanks. Can I see that? What? Well, you were sketching me, weren't you? Hey, that's great. Thanks. The price, please. Hey, don't you think this is great? Price, please. Well, tell you what, if you want to forget about the fair and leave me the sketch. Okay with you, Grant? <clears throat> well, sure, Daddy, why not? All right. He dies so young, huh? Maybe in another life I was a chanteuse. Hmm. What's wrong with you? You don't like him? I... They're not my style. Vincent, did you have a good sleep? Pop up break is ready. Good morning, Gran. <gasps> Do you think Bert will be upset about the pictures? Well, that's okay. He'll get over it. Come on, you'll be late for the school. I'm sorry, that was so long. <laughs> this is your classroom. Are you a little bit nervous? Yeah. Oh, let's look around first. Come. 
Oh, by the way, did you know we have a little theater? And every year we have a show, yeah, the whole crew is involved in it. And they're working on something very interesting. Look at this, look. It's called the Battle of the Forest. And it is written by one of the students. Hmm. Murphy! Murphy! Come down! Felix Murphy, a writer and actor. Felix, this is Joe Tetley. Heather, why didn't you tell me you were coming to this school? Didn't make any difference, did it? Yeah, I could have gone somewhere else, Gawker. Hey, come, let's go on. It's Van Gogh. You should know that. Mrs. Wallace, this is Joe. Joe, you look just like the portrait you sent me. It's wonderful you finally got here. Class, class, this is Joe. You remember I told you she was coming? Hi. Hi. So Joe, we really need your help because we're doing this play, right? Do you know about this play that we're doing? Yeah, I just saw a bit of it. Good, so you know we need a tropical forest, right? but we still don't know what it's gonna look like. So we need some fresh ideas really fast. Big tree! Yes, that's right, big trees. This is Silva. Silva can't hear, but she can read lips perfectly. Yes, big trees. <laughs> so the first thing we do, you see, is we make it this size, right? And then we blow it up to fill the whole wall, the whole back wall of the theater, right? So, um, Silva, you don't mind if Joe shares your paint with you? Sure. Okay. Um, I don't exactly know what a tropical rainforest looks like. Well, you're gonna have to use your imagination. I don't have an imagination. <laughs> what are you talking about? Everybody has an imagination. Well, I can only draw what I see. I don't believe you. It's true. Here. Just try it. How's she doing? Oh, she'll be okay. Even though I don't really like someone arriving in the middle of the summer, eh? But <clears throat> she's very special. All my students are special. Pay, pay anything you want. Pay. That hurts. Joey, how do I look? I love it. Mia, what's the child? The peggio d'un bambino, say. Dear brother, I find painting such hard work because of the wind. It's that damn meh. Mistral, which blows and blows, sometimes for weeks. Still, it's lovely here. Yours, Vincent. I'll get it. Hi. What do you want? I brought you something to help you with the tree problem you were having. What? Well, I'll tell you if you let me in. Okay, come on. Who was it? Oh, it's, it's just Felix. Who's Felix? The boy she met in the train. You're really strange. I am going to be the best painter in the world. And don't you dare try and stop me. No, 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 I'm just here to help. Just want to help you with your work. 
You have to do a jungle painting, right? Yeah. Well, this book is full of them. Who did them? Henry Russo. He's dead, don't worry. This should give you some ideas. How about this one? Yeah, that's great, but I have to use my imagination. You have none, remember? This is the one I really like for the play. Isn't it perfect? But, um, what about her? Oh, I've got that all figured out. I sold my bag. Felix, what are you doing? Oh, you'll see, you'll see. Give me my spear. muscles before? Oh, come on. I'm a tribe, so you can just put me in the backdrop. <laughs> this is getting insulting. <laughs> What's going on? It's okay, Grant. It's just for school. <laughs> Joe! Joe, it's not that funny. Joe. What's happened? <laughs> Joe, it's not that funny. Well, I found a Felix. His clothes off. You kidding? But that's okay. It's uh, for school. is very, very good. But do you remember what I told you about using your imagination? I did use my imagination. Well, in a way you did, but it was only to copy Henri Rousseau. Who's he? He's the painter you copied, Joe. I painted Felix. How could I have copied? I rushed you, didn't I? Van Gogh copied. Yes, but he admitted it. Well, I don't. And I didn't copy. Please don't lie to me, Joe. I am not lying! people watched you painting, didn't you? Especially those stupid boys who teased you all the time and then used your paintings for target practice. Well, I don't get teased, but I have my own problems. Thank you. 
Alex, stop following me. Uh, why aren't you in school? None of your business, Gawketer. Perfect. Just a pot of China tea and a plate of fortune cookies, please. Here was. I saw what you were doing, you know. You did? Yes, every stroke of your pencil. I thought the pillar hit me. Not in the slightest. So, the drawing. You will meet a stranger who will change your life. So, the drawing. But it's mine. Yes, but you drew me. So I have the right to see it, don't I? It's very good. Thanks. Do you know Dr. Gachet? I don't think so. Do you know Vincent van Gogh? Yes, he's my hero. Then you should know Dr. Paul Gachet. Why? Because you have drawn me exactly as Vincent painted Dr. Gachet. Hand against the cheek, the cap. A sad look. Exactly, it's a strange coincidence. Or maybe it's not. Is your name Joe? Josephine. Josephine. I will buy this drawing. You have a great talent, Josephine. You could be a great artist. Especially if Vincent keeps guiding your hand. We will meet again here tomorrow afternoon, okay? I want to see what else you have done. And if I like them, I will buy more. Are you completely crazy? Oh, there you are. Didn't anybody tell you never, never to go with a stranger? I didn't go with him. He dragged me in. <clears throat> I didn't see you screaming for help. Would you relax? He's an art expert. He wants to buy my drawings. Look. Bye. Joe, you have to give that back. Joe! Joe, you have to give it back. Really? I can't. I'm meeting him tomorrow. He's fascinating. 
He's false, Joe. He's a con man. You'd know, wouldn't you? Yeah, just like you knew how famous Henry Russo is. Joe, I think you should reconsider. voted for your background, so. And as you said, Vincent copied. We all have to learn from each other, right? It was Henri Rousseau, wasn't it? Mostly. See, that wasn't so hard to admit, was it? Just one thing. We're not gonna have Felix in the background. Poor Felix. It's going all muddy. Well, you see, you're scrubbing too much. You know, your colors all get mixed up together. And if you want to be like Vincent, you're going to need a lighter touch. But it's nice. So the bulldozer is going to come, and you're going to spear him, okay? Jab him. Okay. That was good, that was good, but a little closer to it, a little more realistically. Felix, if you're at all interested, I'm meeting him at five o'clock. Dr. Bruno Winkler, dealer in fine works of art, huh? That is my work. Josephine, these are very good. Oh, you're not the same waiter. Yes, I'm a replacement. The other one's very, very sick. I'm sorry to hear that. A pot of Chinese tea, please. Uh, no fortune cookies. Now, your book on Vincent. Huh. Dr. Gachet. You hadn't noticed him, eh? I didn't draw you as sad. Why was he so sad, Vincent? Well, he had a hard life. He killed himself, you know. Yes, but why? Life is so interesting. Perhaps for love. Vincent was in love with this girl, but her father kept them apart. Who was she? Marguerite Gachet, Dr. Gachet's daughter. <clears throat> yes? Um, the tea will be a little bit delayed. The burn is broken. Oh. Well, we'll wait. Now, Josephine, nobody bought his work. Nobody praised him. Only his brother, Theo. But he kept going, painting, painting. You know, maybe the reason I'm so interested in him is because he never, ever gave up. I'd like to be like that. It would have been great to have met him. A meeting with Van Gogh. Look, I have brought you 
some drawing paper. And I want you to draw some things from your country life. Geese, hens, a dog, perhaps. Just drawings, no paintings? Only drawings. OK. What do you think, Vincent? Pretty good, eh? Come on, say something. You never say a thing. What do you think? It's great. Are you going to be the waiter tonight? Well, Joe? I didn't get a tip last time. <laughs> Just what I want. It's okay, Mr. Winkler. Vincent only sold one painting in his whole life. I've already sold two. That's enough. <laughs> well, if you insist. Say cheese, doctor. Give me that camera. I didn't get it, honestly. Sorry, Josephine. I hope I didn't scare you. You know what the Arabs say. If someone takes your picture, he steals your soul. Well, I must go. I'm afraid you won't see me again. I return to Amsterdam tomorrow. about it for a bit. Felix wrote it. Great, Felix. Just great. Thanks a lot. That's good. Yeah. It was just wonderful, Joe. I'm Swalls. Huh. Oh, this is Gran and her. <laughs> Please meet Since you. Everybody <laughs> talk about you. <laughs> Josephine loves your class. <laughs> oh, that's good. The pleasure is mine, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, um, I have a little surprise for, for somebody who loves Vincent van Gogh. You see, a friend of mine brought this back from Amsterdam, and in it, there's an amazing article about Vincent. Patience. So, you see, it's an amazing story. What happened is that there was a man who had a pet goose, and one day, the goose disappeared. Couldn't find it anywhere. But then he heard it quacking. 
as though he was hurt or something, you know? So he followed the quacks, and he found it under the house, sitting on a box. And do you know what was in the box? What? Tell us. <laughs> Come on. Three drawings done by Vincent van Gogh when he was your age 120 years ago. That must be worth quite a bit. Go ahead. Japanese businessman bought one for $1 million. That's a lot of moolah. Here. <laughs> so you see, there's the goose on the box, and there's the man, and the Japanese businessman, Mr. Hirodaki. And if you turn the page, you'll see the drawing. What's wrong, Papa? What's the matter, Joe? Why are you so upset? Come on, tell me. It's nothing. Just forget about it. This Vincent business has got stopped. Look at her. Well, why can't you tell me? You won't believe me, Mrs. Wallace. Just forget about it. Of course I will. Tell me. This drawing? Mm -hmm. Vincent didn't do it. I did. <laughs> You're right. I don't believe you. <laughs> Joe! I told you you wouldn't believe me! Joe! make up stories. You're good all by yourself. You don't have to lie. Lie? Right. I'm a liar. Just forget it. No, I won't forget it. Listen, I've been trying really hard with you. Is that any way to pay me back, is it? No, it's too much. Come, Joe. You don't know what's been happening with this girl. It's not the first time she's lied, you know. That's a bit strong. <sighs> Joe, you're... You're good all by yourself. Look at what you did tonight. I think Joe's a very nice person, but I don't think she belongs in my class. Oh, come on, come on. That's a little bit hard. No, I mean it. We don't seem to be able to understand each other. I'm telling the truth. You see? Hey, you can't come here like that. Excuse me, but I've got the proof. Proof of what? That she's not lying. Look, please compare that drawing with that one. Where did you get that? Picture of her. Yeah. Hmm. You are right. They look the same. See? Joe and the drawing both in the same photo? Doesn't that convince you that she's telling the truth? Yeah, 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 yeah. But why is that ID himself? That's Dr. Winkler, the one I told you about. He is the one who bought the drawing from me. Well, Joe, I... I apologize. I mean, it's, it just seems... It just seems so impossible. It's okay. Maybe I wouldn't believe me either. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. You're welcome. You're amazing. He's closed. Uh-uh. I want that drawing back. You'd have to go to Amsterdam. Come on. Oh, if you don't mind, we'll be missing a bit of school. But there was going on. I think it's crazy to let her go. She's too young. OK, OK, it's your decision. She's your daughter, it's not mine. OK. I'm just the crazy grandmother. Ciao. OK, so it does seem crazy. But I know just the person to take us. Great shot, boss. You know, Tom Mainfield, the journalist, who also happens to be Dad's fishing buddy. 
Listen, what about her parents? If I were them, I, I wouldn't let her go off alone with you. Oh, boss, thanks a lot for your belief in my morality. Well, boss, I've taken care of everything. Look, I talked with the parents. They think oh. Amsterdam's a wonderful idea. They think it's going to be a great cultural experience. He's pretty silly, but he's desperate to leave Motley. And he thinks this is his big scoop. How much money do you want to, from the paper? Oh, well, um, it's difficult, boss. I mean, it couldn't possibly be more than 10,000. How much? 10,000. Out of the question. Just out of the question. Oh, boss, come on. Oh, OK, OK, 5,000. And that is bargain basement. Amsterdam is not cheap, and it's very, very far away. Well, OK, Tom, you've got it. But uh, get the story, or don't come back. Of course. Look, you're going to have a wonderful time. This is a great tour. I wish I could go myself, really. But, Tom, we don't want to be tourists. <laughs> Come on, Joe. I'm just going to get the ball rolling. You kids aren't going to miss anything. Come on. I promise. Come on. We're leaving. We just made it. OK, have some fun, and I'll see you at 6 o'clock at the hotel. Have fun, guys! It's okay. It'll be fun. Okay, everybody, welcome to this very famous Amsterdam tour. And I will be your guide, and the first thing I'm gonna tell you is about this thing to the left that's our famous cab boat. You look at all those stray cats, about 50 or 60 stray cats living there, having fun. Look at all those cats. It's amazing. Yeah. Look at them going in the fence. Ow. And then immediately up to your left, that's the smallest house in Amsterdam, and it's only one meter wide. Look at that guy. You have to be so thin to live there. I'm really very sorry, Mr. Manfield, but I cannot help you. You're sure you've never heard of him? I'm sure there's no dealer called Winkler in Amsterdam. Quite sure. No, I'm very sorry, Look, but you have to... One more question. ...to excuse me. Just one more. Good day, Mr. Manfield. Oh, excuse me. Do you know if there's a payphone around here? Thank you. On to your right, we have a lot of housing boats, because that's what we have here in Amsterdam, a lot of housing boats. Some of them pay rent, some of them don't, some of them are big, some of them are small. I bet you Tom's going to solve this whole mystery by himself. Well, it doesn't matter, we're stuck here. I mean, the only thing that matters now is that you get your drawing back. Oh, quick, look, everybody. There you've got the smallest houseboat in Amsterdam. It's called the famous Krakatoa. And it belongs to Joris. Hey, you're in luck. He's just waking up. <laughs> and we call him the River Red. Hey, hey, Joris, Joris. He's a smart one, that guy. He knows more about Amsterdam than anyone in his whole town. Joe, come on. But he seems to forget. What, what? Come on, you'll see. The guy who can guide us. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> if we can find him again. Yes, this is Tom Manfield from the Motley Gleaner. I'd like to speak with Mr. Hirodaki, please. No, no. Hirodaki. Is he there by any chance? Is he there? Is this his number? No, no. Hirodaki, a Japanese businessman. 
Yes. Well, where is he? No, I, look, I'm not Mr. Hiradaki. No, uh, no. I, is he at a hotel? Hotel. No, no, no. Look, I have a hotel. I don't have a hotel. You see? This is the spot. I think. Maybe, but where's the kid? He's gone. Excuse me? Do you know who Joris is? Yes, I do. Do you know where he is? He's under your feet. Joris? Joris? Hi, uh, do you speak English? Well, that depends on who I'm talking to. Two Canadians who need a great detective. Oh, basically someone who knows the city backwards. Oh, okay, meet me over there. Come on. Let's go. Hi, I'm Felix. This is Joe. Hi. Hi, I'm Joris. King of the Canals. Do you really know the city well? Of course. Well, what's your problem? Joe and Felix from Canada. Joris. Joris. Ja? Je komt wel gewoon thuis eten vanavond, hè? Well, Oké, okay, mom. Maar ik had deze twee kinderen van Canada. Hi, Canada. Hi. That's my mom. And that's my dad, the shipmaker. Hey. Hey, this is a great boat. Thanks. Hop in. Her name is Krakatoa. But to me, she's cracky. <laughs> hey, guys, what about me? <laughs> you like her? Yeah, I think it's the greatest. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you. Do it again. Hey, let's have breakfast first, eh? Breakfast at noon? Yeah, that's the best time for breakfast. Hello! Hey, hi there. Three stukjes pizza, alsjeblieft. Eén voor haar, één voor hem en één voor mij. Oké. Dankjewel. Oh, typical Dutch food. Pizza. It doesn't look very Dutch. And it's cold. Get down! Who is it? Just some bad guys I don't want to meet. Sure. I'm gonna eat the pizzas. Yours, are we gonna spend the rest of the day on this boat? Or are we gonna look for my drawing? You don't like my boat? Get off! No, I... I'm just in a hurry. Anyway, it took me fine to help you guys. I'm on a Van Gogh mystery myself on the moment. You know the stone of Van Gogh that was stolen last week? Um... Oh, yeah, sure. Hi, Jordan. Hi. Hey, hello! But which one is it? Well, I have a picture of it. Look. You know it? Oh, yeah, it's the postman. You think you're going to be able to find it? I hope so. There's a big reward on it. Hey, this is fun. You like it? Yeah. Dutch cheese, come and get it. I'd like to speak to Mr. Hiradaki. It's very important. No, say not, say. Thank you. 
It is an honor to finally meet you, Mr. Hiradaki. Omeni kakete koini shonshimas. Tell Mr. Hiradaki that he is a great businessman. Business ni kakete wa sensei dai no kata des. Oh yes, yes, and also a, a wonderful patron of the arts. Ah, sensei be yutsu no sensei ni koensha des. I know of his love of Van Gogh. Ah, koho, koho. Kuto, kuto. And also of the purchase of the drawings, the Van Gogh. But that were uh, drawings when he was young, when he was a little boy. Oh, well, perhaps not little boy, perhaps little girl? Look, um, tell him that I have proof that the drawings were not done by Vincent van Gogh 130 years ago. They were done by a Canadian girl this year. She's 13. I don't think I like to tell him that. Let me be the judge of that. Have it your way. <laughs> Joris, where are we? This is where boats come to die. It's spooky here. What's wrong? It's cracky. She thinks this is maybe the end for her. She's old too, you know. Anyways, um, where are we going? That man on your photo there? Yeah. I think I know who he is. Who? Well, his name is Victor. And he lives around here. Wait! Let me go first, Felix. Victor has bad temper. Uh, does, he, does he bite? <laughs> Victor, what's wrong? You're just a bit sick, my boy. Shall we get a doctor? No, no, no. It's just my old malaria. It will pass. What are you doing here? Well, uh, this is Joe and Felix from Canada. Mm -hmm. You've got friends all over the world. Yes. Now, I want to ask you a question. Is that you on the photo there? No, but I, I think I know who it is. It's this guy called Hank. Where can we find him? Maybe you try the boat that don't float. Well, which one? There's so many of them. The boat that don't float, not the boat that is sunk. Oh, now I get it. You get it now, Thanks. yes. I hope you feel better soon, Victor. Princeton Island. Look, there it is. What? The boat that don't float. There was a time that it really, really rained. And the water went up this high. And every boat in Amsterdam went up, of course, with it. Except this one, it didn't. And that's why it's called the boat that don't float. It's really strange. It's not sunk. No. Otherwise, it would be full of water. And it isn't.
Yaris? Yes? Is it possible that there's lights down there? Gee, you're right. Maybe this cabin is down there. Uh, guys, this is crazy. I think we should head back to the hotel. So what do you think, Jaris? Should we explore this boat now? Holy shamoly! It's 8 o'clock. We're supposed to meet Tom at 6. <laughs> Yaris! Hey, stop it. He's trying to drive. <laughs> <laughs> She's okay, don't worry. Sorry, Felix. Okay, Yara, speed it up. Hi, Tom. Sorry we're late. Where have you both been? I thought I could trust you. You had me worried sick. We've been finding out some amazing things. We even found out about this little boat that you... That you that you can rent very cheaply. <laughs> what about you? Uh, nothing. I can't find Dr. Winkler. There is no Dr. Winkler. The only thing I found out is that Japanese businessmen are very sensitive to their art purchases. Hey, did you guys hear about this um, Van Gogh being stolen? It's in the newspaper. Yeah, actually, I read about that. Uh, that's some crime, huh? It'd be nice to solve that one. Yeah. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm very tired. I'm going to go to sleep now. You guys get to bed as soon as you can, OK? Good night. Good night, Tom. Felix, why are you looking at me like that? It's just that you're not being very nice to me lately. Felix, I like you a lot, but you haven't done one sketch since you arrived. You forgot about Dr. Winkler, and it's just yours, yours, yours all the time. That's not true. Oh, no? Huh. You've even forgotten about Vincent. My mother thinks this is a bad idea, you know. What do you mean? Well, she has these strange feelings about the boat that don't float. Strange feelings? Yeah, you know, sometimes she got these vibrations. She's, she's a kind of a magical lady, you know. But you're not afraid, are you? Of course I'm not. I told her not to worry. Maybe we should be worrying. <sighs> Felix, most of the time she's wrong, so cool it. should reconsider. It's cool. You must be joking. You know how much trouble we could get? Felix! Stop worrying. We have to take a risk. Now stop knocking with your knees, please. Now, how are we gonna get in here? You can't break into people's boats like that. Felix, stop being such a wimp. Well, if I'm right, the boat captains always Hide their key up there. Sheesh. There must not be very much valuable stuff in there if the key's so easy to find. No. This key is forgotten. This entrance hasn't been used for a long time. Look at the dust. Shh. Just as I thought, there's nobody here. Joros, I think your mother was right. Ugh. Anybody hungry? No, thanks. What's that? That was a rat. Ugh. Joe, I found what you're looking for. A toilet. Yuck. 
Looks like fun. Okay, Felix, time for you to disappear. You must be desperate. Go on! Felix! Come and have a look at this. What is it? There's something down there. Wow. Guys! Guys, come! Why? What is it? Look! Down there. He was lucky. <laughs> oh, who's coming down? Not me. I don't know about that. Come on. Postman from Arl. He was Vincent's best friend. Hey guys, there's a tunnel over here. Oh. <laughs> Joris! He's saying something. Come here. What's he saying? I krijg niet af. Ik heb meer tijd nodig. Nee, niet meer benen breken. You can't finish them tonight. He needs more time. And somebody wants to break his legs. <gasps> <gasps> Are you a prisoner? Yes, sort of. You know uh, Fisher? No. He's a guy, um, a real bad guy. He owns a blue speedboat. Oh, yeah, that guy. I know him, yeah. Well, I owe him a lot of money, and I didn't know how to pay him back. So he says to me, you finish these copies before tonight, or else you'll end up in the canal. He'll kill you. <laughs> Probably not. He'll uh, just break my legs. You're very good, you know. Thank you. But uh, not good enough. I won't finish tonight. Maybe I could help you. But you, are you crazy, girl? She's really good. Yes, yeah, she is. Yeah, well, give me a break. I mean, this is not for kids. Well, maybe Vincent could help me. I mean, if he wants it to happen, then it'll happen. Oh, great. That's just what I need. Vincent's ghost. I'll just paint the circles. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? No, stop. See? <laughs> we told you she was good. Why, well, you're not bad. Here, give me the white brush. I'll do some dots. Yes. <sighs> hey, um, take this. We can paint together. Yes? Are you ready? Okay. Let's go. Black circle. Black circle. <laughs> Black circle. Black circle. 
Black circle. <laughs> Black circle. <laughs> Black circle. Slack burkles. <laughs> Black circle. No, Slack burkle. So, what do you think, guys? <laughs> they look more like almonds. Look, I don't know who you are, but you can't just yank people off the street like this. Sit down, Mr. Mainfield. Obviously, I, I didn't make myself very clear. I, I said you cannot treat people like this. We can if they're a nuisance. And you really are a nuisance, Mr. Mainfield. So, you are looking for Dr. Bruno Finkler. Do you know what he looks like? Yeah, sure I do. Um, beard, wears a cap. He looks a little bit like, um, uh, Dr. Gachet. Do you know Dr. Gachet? And, uh, what do you want to tell this Dr. Winkler? Look, that's between him and me, and I'll tell him face to face, thank you. I don't think so. Tom, there's a large sum of money on that table. Why don't you just take that and leave Amsterdam? It would be so much better for you and the children. Otherwise, I should have to give you to Mr. Hirodaki's friend to practice with. Think about it. marry you when you grow up? <laughs> Just a minute. I met what? her first. She's gonna marry me. Oh. Hey, if Joe's gonna marry anyone, it's gonna be me. Isn't it, Joe? No, I'm not gonna marry any of you. The only man I want is Bruno Winkler. What? Him? Him? Bruno? Yeah, I want him. In prison. Go for That's Fisher. Hide. Come on. Here. Uh, under the bed. Under the bed. Surprised you did them. It's Winkler. Oh, yes. What's that? Oh, uh, oh, uh, it's just a mouse, Maestro. Right. Now listen, I want you to dry them tonight in the pizza oven. <laughs> the pizza oven. You think I'm joking? No, no. Of course I'm joking. Of course you're joking. Yes. <laughs> I'm not joking, fool. No, you're not joking. I want them dry by tomorrow. And if you want to stay well, don't burn them. Right. Thanks, Felix. 
You're welcome. You know, I don't know what I would have done out there. I mean, that guy just grabbed me. I was so scared. Yeah. I didn't know you were so brave. Me neither. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> you deserve it. <laughs> you know who that was, eh? That was the Dark Man. Tom, what are you doing? We're leaving today. Get your stuff packed. But we can't leave. We're just about to... To what? Felix, Joe, I... To tell you guys the truth, I found absolutely nothing. What's more, some very nasty people have found me. I'm afraid they might be after you now. What if we were onto a huge crime? And I mean a huge crime. Then would you stay? What sort of crime? Promise not to tell anyone right now? Yeah, yeah, sure, I promise. Well, you know the stolen Van Gogh painting? That sort of crime, for one thing. And a boat that don't float sort of crime for another. Boat that don't float? Yeah, Prince and Ireland. Hello? Yeah, we'll be right there. Joris needs us. Come on, let's go. Hey, guys. scared of the cemetery. She knew all along. Mm. That is Mr. Bruno Winkler. Yes, and I'll be back. And this is the stolen painting. Hey, Jonas, come us. And here we have Mr. Tom Mainfield, and he will tell us all about it. Thank you, Kiki. Uh, well, apparently, uh, Bruno Who's that? Fisher, um, Mr. That's Tom uh, Mainfield, Winkler, whatever you want to call him. journalist who came with us. figure in the European art underworld, and he was going to sell copies of this original Van Gogh to uh, some of his criminal counterparts, therefore making two, three, four times the money on each painting. That's wonderful, Mr. Mainfield. Oh, come on, guys. This was our mystery. What the heck did you do? You weren't supposed to say that. Tom, mm. did you just come to Holland to help us find this stolen painting? Oh, no, no, no. I originally came on another mission. But, well, that's lost a lot of its importance now. This was Kiki at Amsterdam. Thank you well. Bye. Vincent? What can I do? Everyone's forgotten my drawing. Even me.
Mr. Van Gogh? Mr. Van Gogh? Excuse me. Hello? Well, what do you want? Can I ask you something? An English girl. What are you doing so far from home? Looking for you. I'm Joe from Canada. Oh. Hello, Joe. Goodbye, Joe. I've always loved that one. You've always loved that one? It's impossible. I just finished it. I've seen it before. I can't believe you. It's true. You know my paintings? You know my name? How is it possible? Maybe I shouldn't tell you. It might disturb history. Oh, come on, don't worry about history. Okay. I'll tell you if you tell me why you paint like this. That's a secret. I'm a painter, too. Sort of. So paint? No, I don't want to spoil it. You sure? Yeah. Like this? Good. Very good. You see, you're painting energy. Energy is around everything. It's swirling like ripples around a boat. Feels good, huh? Good, good. Let's have something to eat. And you will tell me everything you know about me. Did you do all of that today? Good, huh? <laughs> Two paintings in one day. <laughs> okay, okay, Joe from Canada. Tell me what you know about me. I read about you in a book. No, you didn't. There is no books about me. Sure there are. There's hundreds. Hundreds of books? Show me one. I... I don't have them. <laughs> They're at home in the future. <laughs> in the future? Yeah, in uh, 1990, where I come from. Nineteen... It's true, you, you are not from our time, but uh, in your time, in, uh, in 1990? Uh-huh. I must be completely forgotten, for sure. Uh-uh. You're the most famous artist in the world. But it's so stupid. How is it possible, you know? I can't, I can't even sell my paintings, you see. I can't ev ev even give them away. I don't know how, but I know things are going to change for you. Your paintings will be in the Louvre. In the Louvre? In Paris? Vincent, 
I think there's only one Louvre. You'll also have a special art gallery in Amsterdam, and that painting will be in it. Th that painting? But o only my my brother understand what I do. You see? No, the whole world loves you. You and your paintings. You mean that they buy these paintings? Not often. Ha ha! You see. Why not, if they love them so much? Well, they're kind of expensive. One sold recently for $50 million. $50 million? I live, Arl. Can you walk that far? I think so. Oh, come on. I really like the 19th century. The air smells so clean. Maybe I should stay. So. Wow. This is you. So let, let's get back to the subject. Show me the photo. OK. You didn't do that one, did you? I don't remember. Come on, you do too. Ah, you are worried, huh? Please. Okay, I, I won't tease you anymore. I didn't do it. This is far too good for Vincent Van Gogh at 13. Where, where do I sign it? Anywhere. Just write, I didn't do it, and your name. Thanks a lot. You know, I've always wanted to see you smile. And now you're smiling all the time. It's wonderful. You made me smile. Every painter likes to be remembered. I have an idea. I will give you one painting. Oh, that's really nice, but I can't. That really will disturb history, you know. Ah, oh, forget about history. This is my bedroom. I did lots. I give them to everybody. Nobody will notice one more. Please. You made me so happy, Joe from Canada. Excuse me. You are tired. Sleep for a while. I go for a drink. My absence. I love it. Good dream. It was a dream. There she is. Oh, where were you? In Arl with Vincent. Come on, give me a break. Sure. No, it's true. Look, he signed the photo of my drawing. And he gave me this painting. You're a millionaire. No, 
I want to trade this painting with Mr. Hirodaki for my picture. Are you crazy? You could sell this and make millions. Don't do that. No. I want that drawing back. <laughs> it's the only time I used my imagination. Come on, we have to show you something. Come on. Oh, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> Bye, bedroom. What is it? I'll show you, I'll show you. Close your eyes. <laughs> it wasn't ready to die yet. Look. Oh, wow. <laughs> Everything had turned out strangely well. My gloomy feelings were all gone. It had been wonderful to take Vincent some good news and see him smile. I felt sad about Dr. Winkler. I guess he deserved 10 years of hard labor. But to me, I like to remember him the way he was in Montreal, someone fascinating. Tom, well, Tom apologized and gave the reward money to Jarus. So a new motor got put into Cracky. And I told Jarus that I'd be back for sure in the summer. <laughs> Felix said, not without me, you don't. Mr. Hirodaki was very secretive, but finally he gave in. The last thing I did was go see Madame Calmont, all the way to Arles. She had just turned 115, was still grumpy. I thought she should hear my side of the story. Bonjour, Madame Calmont. Je m'appelle Jo, la petite fille dans l'histoire. Vous vous appelez Jo. Jo? Jo. Jo, Barbeto. OK. Je viens de rencontrer Vincent, et il était très gentil. Qui, qui, vous avez, qui vous avez rencontré? Vincent Van Gogh. Vous l'avez rencontré, vous? Oui. Hein? Il Mais était par, très parlez, gentil. Parlez le plus fort possible. Je j'ai l'oreille mauvaise. Je oui. viens de rencontrer Vincent Van Gogh et il était très gentil. Ben, il n'a pas été avec moi. Il a été grossier avec moi. Non, mais il était très gentil avec moi. Mais tant mieux, tant mieux. Mais il y a longtemps, nous ça. Euh, tu vas longtemps, nous ça. Mais quel âge avez-vous? J'ai 13 ans. Vous l'avez déjà vu? Oui. Pas possible. <rire> pas possible. C'est possible. Il est mort il y a si longtemps. C'est dans mon rêve. <rire> ah, alors, je n'y comprends plus rien. Je ne cherche plus à comprendre. When do I start? Right now, right now. Oh, okay, okay. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Get back. 